so welcome back so in the previous video we have learned about how to create adidas logo reveal which was super fun now in this video we will learn how to create some more creative logo animation like this we are going to use adobe photoshop and adobe after effect to create this kind of animation so watch this video till the end if you want to master this type of logo animations and if you are new to this channel then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates now without wasting any more time let's get started So first thing first here we are in Photoshop I have the Slack logo over here if you see this logo this logo is divided into two parts one with the alphabet and one with the symbol but we want all each and everything on the separate layer so we will follow for the procedure so now let's select your rectangle tool and you can choose any selection tool also I'm gonna select this S first and then I'll press ctrl X to cut it out and I'm gonna create new layer and I'll press ctrl shift V to paste in place now this procedure we will follow for each and every alphabet like every other tutorial so hit ctrl x create new layer press ctrl shift v so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna quickly do this procedure in fast forward okay so as you guys can see our each and every alphabet is on the separate layer so now same thing we need to follow for the symbol also so i'll zoom in a little bit and now i'm gonna select this greener portion i'll hit ctrl x i'll create new layer i'll press ctrl shift v select this layer again and we will select this portion hit ctrl x create new layer and press ctrl shift v so let's follow this procedure again in the fast forward okay so now these symbols are also on the separate layer so i'll save this photoshop file now we will jump to the after effects and we'll create a new composition and we will call this composition as main animations like always we do and width is 1920 height is 180 frame rate is 30 and duration we don't want much more duration so let's make it 10 seconds only and background color is white color and simply hit ok now go to choose grid and guide option and hit on title selection like this now right click new and create one null object hit enter and let's call it as rotation and hit ok then press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center of this null object then go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically like this okay so now we will select our ellipse i don't want any stroke so i'll delete this stroke and for the fill i'm going to choose black color at least for now and by holding shift i am going to create one ellipse like this as you can see simple and easy then press ctrl alt home again to align that anchor point to the center alt scroll to zoom in and let's go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically now press v for selection tool and by holding shift i am gonna move this ellipse over here like this now select this hit ctrl d to duplicate it by holding shift let's move this over here but I think instead of that, let's go to the align tab and align it horizontally. And then I'm gonna move this over here. Okay, select this again, hit Ctrl D. Now go to the align tab, align it vertically. And by holding shift, let's move this over here. Hit Ctrl D. Again, go to the align tab, align it horizontally. And by holding shift, we will get something like this. Okay, now let's make this into fit. Now select all the shape layers, press P for position and create one keyframe over here. Go to around one second and create another keyframe. Now let's go to the start. Now I'm gonna select this one and by holding shift, I'll drag this out of this composition. Then select this one, move this over here. Select this one, move this out of this composition. Select this, move this out of this composition like this. Now select those keyframe, hit F9, go to the graph editor, select this graph by holding shift, I'll adjust this anchor point over here. So if I hit play, I'm gonna get something like this. Now if you want, you can simply select the last keyframe and you can move it over here like this. 
Now select all of them and make it apparent with this rotation which is our null object. Now af not after but before this last keyframe I'll go to around one second like this and then I'm gonna select this I'll press R for rotation I'll create one keyframe and then I'll go to around three seconds and I'm gonna do one complete rotation so if I hit play I'll get something like this but as you can see the animation looks quite weird so for that what I'm gonna do I'm gonna select this keyframes and I'm gonna hit F9 I'll go to the graph editor I'll select this graph I'll hold shift and move this handle over here and this handle sorry select this again and holding shift will move this handle over here so now if you play this animation I'll get for something like this then something like this and at this point which means uh, before the last keyframe I'm gonna select all of them and I'll create one keyframe each and then I'm gonna go somewhere around over here and then I'll go to the align tab I'll press align horizontally and then align it vertically like this now after that up to around 5 seconds now what we need to do we need to copy the first keyframe so I'll hit ctrl C ctrl V ctrl C ctrl V ctrl C ctrl V and ctrl C ctrl V so if you see this we will get something like this but as you can, can see we are getting something weird so first thing we need to do we need to select those position keyframes and first we need to hit f9 why we are doing that if you go if you select this and if you go to the graph editor as you can see see the graph is quite messed up so for that we need to readjust it so select this graph and simply hit f9 so as you guys can see the graph is adjusted but if you see over here let's zoom in a little bit we are still getting some weird looking things so for that what i'm gonna do simply right click go to the keyframe interpolation and instead of auto visual i'm going to choose linear like this so now we are not gonna get that problem like this but this is just look like a normal animation so to make it more interesting we will choose our graph editor again we will select this portion and by holding shift let's move this handle over here select this and by holding shift move this handle over here select both of them zoom in a little bit and move this handle over here select this again and move this handle over here so if you see this now we will get something like this and if you think this animation is quite slow all you need to do simply select all of them and by holding alt you can decrease the duration of it like this okay now what we need to do i'm gonna select this i'll hit page down button two times i'll select this and move this over here hit page down button two times select this move this over here select this move this over here so if you see i'm gonna get something like this now uh, we need to import our logo so i'll press ctrl i on my keyboard as you guys can see i have this photoshop file logo over here import as i'll choose composition retain layers inside this and simply hit import and hit ok now double click to open this composition select all the photoshop layers by hitting ctrl a hit ctrl c to copy go to main animation and hit ctrl v now right click sorry uh, let's deselect first and right click new and create one null object select all the photoshop layers and i'm gonna make it apparent with this null one two press s for scaling option and scale it at appropriate size like this now adjust sorry zoom in a little bit and adjust the position of this logo with the help of this null object like this okay this looks good to me and let's delete this null object we don't need that anymore now we will select these alphabets and i'll press ctrl shift c and i'll call it as text and hit ok and let's hide this then i'm gonna select this portion i'll press ctrl shift c and i'll call it as logo maybe and hit ok now select this logo press p for position create one keyframe and then let's move this to three second like this and then go to around five second create another keyframe now go to the three seconds and i'll bring this logo in the middle of it like this and select those keyframe and hit f9 like this let's go to around four seconds and let's move this over here so we will get this animation from here 
so as you guys can see the this all the remaining balls are touching this portion at this point so what we need to do we want that animations to start from i think 3.15 frames maybe okay so let's select those keyframe again and we have to shift it a little bit forward because we need to create animation from this point okay but first of all we have to select these shapes and we have to change the color of them so i'm gonna select this shape i'll go to the film i'll choose the speaker and i'll choose this blue color then i'll select this one i'll go to the fill with the help of the speaker i'll select this color i'll select this one go to the fill with the help of the speaker i'll choose this color and select this last one go to the fill and then we will select this color okay so now i want this thing to animate so let's go inside this select all of them and instead of that what you can do is you can simply select this logo and you can move this over here only let's go inside it now select all of them i'll press p for position create one keyframe and what i'm gonna do i'm gonna move this to let's say somewhere around 1.15 frames and create another keyframe let's go to the start now i'm gonna select this one and i'll move this over here so it will automatically create one keyframe over here so we need to select this keyframe of this one and we will hit ctrl c to copy we will select all of them and we will hit ctrl v so all of them are gonna come over here so if i hit play i'll get something like this now in middle of that what i'm gonna do i'm gonna move the y, change the y position of it like this okay so if you see we will get something like this now select those keyframe hit f9 go to the graph editor zoom in a little bit let's select this middle one by holding shift move this one over here select this by holding shift move this one over here select this hold shift move this one over here select this hold shift move this one over here so if you see we will get something like this okay and if you think the animation is quite slow so all you need to do simply select all of them by holding alt let's bring sorry select all of them by holding alt let's bring them to up to around one second now press s create one keyframe hit page down button two times create another keyframe go to the start and let's make this zero like this now go to the start press r for rotation create one keyframe hit u and we'll go to around one second and we will make it one complete rotation now we have to change the graph editor of rotation property so press r again and again r and select those keyframe and hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph holding shift move this handle over here and this handle over here so we'll get something like this now hit page down button one time or let's say two time hold alt close bracket zoom in a little bit and let's move this over here right click keyframe assistance sequence layers and hit ok so all of them are adjusted like this and you can increase the duration so we will get something like this let's zoom in a little bit and let's move this over here now select all of them and make sure to enable this what we call motion blur like this so now this should start to animate from here and at this point i want the keyframes of this position to start so let's move this over here so i want from this point they should start to move like this let's move this over here select those keyframe hit f9 okay so now i'm gonna enable my text layer and i'll move this over here select those keyframe go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift move this handle over here and move this handle over here so i'll get this kind of shift okay so now let's select this one let's select this text go to the last keyframe and we will make it parent with this logo like this select this text go inside it or instead of that select this text only press t for opacity there are two ways you can animate let's make this zero initially create one keyframe go over here and let's make this 100 and you can select this hit f9 you can go to the graph editor select this graph holding shift move this handle over here and this handle over here so you will get something like this so this is one way which we are all uh, i mean hold the world world is animating not world sorry for my pronunciation 
uh, basically means if the whole world is animating and there is another way you can do that you can uh, animate each and every alphabet so for that what we need to do let's unlink this logo and let's delete the opacity keyframes also now let's go over here like this i'll move my text over here let's go inside this select all of them press p for position create one keyframe then press t for opacity create another keyframe go to around let's say up to 20 frames create another keyframe on opacity and one keyframe on position let's go to the start and let's move this over here press t for opacity let's make this zero and hit u let's select all the keyframes and hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph and holding shift move this handle over here so you'll get something like this now this is s so hit page down button two times select this move this over here sorry and let's go over here hit page down button two times move this over here then move this over here so we'll get something like this so if you see this over here we will get this kind of stuff you can adjust the position of it according to your choices like this okay so this is the first thing uh, now as you guys can see we have only four dots over here so for that what i'm gonna do i'm gonna select all the shape layers and uh, i'm gonna enable the motion blur also and then i'm gonna select this null object also and i'll press ctrl shift c to pre comp it i'll call it as circles and hit ok like this now at this point i'm gonna hit ctrl d i'll press r and i'll make it 45 like this press s and let's make this 150 like this so if you see this we will get something like this now select this circles hit ctrl d again to duplicate it like this press r and let's make this 90 press s and let's make this 200 like this so we will get something like this now i'll hit page down button two times select this circle move over here hit page down button two times select this circle and let's move this over here so if i see this i'll get this kind of animation then press ctrl y to create a solid background and hit ok and we will bring this downwards and hit u and up to around seven seconds i'll hit n so now if you see this we will get this kind of animation so yep that's it for the today's video we will see you in my next video so i hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial and if you like this tutorial then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates and if you want to create some more interesting animations like this then check out these two videos i'll see you in my next video until then stay tuned